Hello and welcome back for another vlog. I have had such an overwhelming response of people questioning me about the refrigerator parts. So I want to do a quick, this isn't going to be quick. Um, I'm going to walk you through how to do this. We've had um, several comments and we've had several people to message us and ask us about the refrigerator parts. Okay, I'm going to go from top to bottom, where you need to start, to the time to ship the product. So, this may be a, a long vlog, but it's going to be step by step on how you can get refrigerator parts for free and make money. We had two refrigerators that went bad. We sold the shelving and different other parts off of them. We probably made... Probably about, what would you say, about $900? Yeah. We made about $900 off of two refrigerators that both needed Freon. And we ended up buying two brand new refrigerators on Scratch and Dent for a total of $500. So we made $400 profit. When I started parting the refrigerators out, I started looking at new prices versus used prices. I could not believe how much this shelving sells for new. I told my husband, I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, no, we need to get into this. Okay, so now we sell refrigerator parts. Um, I advertise on Craigslist um, for the plastic shelving, which is this here. What we usually do is pay the, pay the person a dollar or two for each of these. But when you go to pick these up, well, let me go back. You can you can put put an ad on Craigslist, put an put a post on Facebook at least once a week. Say, hey, do you or anybody you know have an old refrigerator that's no longer working that you don't want the the shelving out of? Tell them to give them a dollar or two for the shelving. They'll take it. Trust me. Okay. Um. <clears throat> If you know anybody that works at a recycling center, um, we have a local company here that picks the refrigerators up and we go buy them a dollar each to sell on eBay. So we're paying someone for their time of calling us and telling us, hey, you know, we've got this many parts, come and get them. First thing that you want to do is make sure, please make sure, you get the model number off the refrigerator that goes with these parts. My advice is sticky notes and tape. And when you get a refrigerator that has been closed up and has a really bad odor or if it has mold, do not fool with it because that smell will not come out. When we get ours and get home, what I always do is I clean them with bleach and then I clean them with vinegar. Really, really good. Sometimes the shelving will get like, some of the shelving is like, got these fronts here that does not move and they'll get like, where people have spilled food down and you can't get that out. I always make sure that I put a close up shot of that on my description, on my photos and, um, I added in the condition section. Okay, so I'm going to try to speed up a little bit. This, I want to add this in right quick. This is out of a really old refrigerator that was probably about 40 years old. Um, what I use it for now is for small pieces and I'll put it on a shelf and I have small things in it that I have of quantity like door handles, old door knobs or something. And this is what I keep them in on the shelf, and you just pull it out and just get your parts out, and that's that's what I use this for. It's the refrigerator this came out of is so old, it wouldn't it didn't sell on eBay, so I just found a creative way of how to use this, and it's it's really handy. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. <coughs> and what happens to these refrigerator parts? The reason why people need them is a lot of times kids will hang on to these, like they'll open these to get something out, and they'll pull on the fronts of them, and they'll break. So, or they just break from having too much weight on them. So, this shelf here came out of a Samsung refrigerator. 
my gracious neighbor, they their refrigerator quit working. So they gave it to us and let us have the parts out of it if we just hauled it away for them. And that's another great way to do it. Um, and you can put it at, if you had an old refrigerator, you know, I'll give you 10 bucks for the refrigerator. But then you can go and make a couple hundred dollars off of the parts off of it. So this is a shelf. The the door refrigerator shelf that came off and it opens and closes and I have the part number on it. I have a piece of paper. You'll have to overlook my scribbles. The model of the refrigerator is, is the RS2555SL. Okay, what I do is, here's the trick to it. Part numbers. Very important. Always look on the bottom. When you see this number here, type it into the Google. Just Google it and see what comes up. The, you'll then get an idea of how much these sell for new. What I do is I take a new price and I cut it down. I sell these for anywhere from 25 to 50 percent of what a new one is. Keep it cheap because you want to move them quick because refrigerator parts, no joke, they take up a lot of space. We have a 9 by 12 metal storage building and that's going to be in a later vlog of where we keep all our stuff stored at. But the, the part numbers are very important. Sometimes part numbers will be on the inside of these lips. Sometimes they'll be up under here. They can even be inside of here. You want to look them over really, really good to see where the part number is. And this is a dairy tray, a door dairy tray. And when I list it on eBay, I list it Samsung refrigerator model number. And I put the model number to the refrigerator, which is the RS number. And then I put door dairy shelf P and then the hashtag or pound sign and then I put this and then if there's any other numbers or anything with this like some of these parts that we have have other numbers with them I will go in the description and add those numbers in the description because sometimes when you're searching on eBay those numbers will pick up also even though they're not in the title so Some parts do not have part numbers on them. Here's another one. The legs that levels the refrigerator does not have a part number on it. What you want to do is you type in, I'm not promoting this website or anything, but this is the best website I have found that has the schematics and the part numbers on it. It's appliancepartspros.com. Let's see if I can get that camera a little bit closer so y'all can see it. Okay, they have the best resources for the schematics on here. I'm not promoting this site, but they do have a lot of, the, every refrigerator that we have parted out, they have had all of the part numbers, the schematics and everything. And when you scroll down through here, it even shows you the price of the stuff. Um, like the capacitor. It's $22.85 new, okay? I will just randomly look some of this stuff up on eBay and they're less than half price used. Um, like the main control board, even though it's brand new, it's $110.53. If your refrigerator went out went out only because it needed to free on there's nothing wrong with the control board then at my advice I would sell it on eBay but put that the refrigerator needed free on that's if you if you have someone that you know that wouldn't charge you a penny to come look at your refrigerator which we're lucky we do then I would sell it on eBay and say as a part it's, you don't want to put it as new or used. You want to put it for repair or parts. 
and then just list on her that the, your refrigerator went out. It needed Freon. This is the board. Um, <clears throat> this here doesn't have this or this. I was just using this as an example. But this is what you want to look for, though. And what I do is I just put in the, the refrigerator model number. This came out of a Samsung. And then I put part numbers. And just I just scroll through there and see what comes up. But this appliancepartspros.com has got the best schematics that I have found. And we've actually bought a couple refrigerator parts over there off of it that we actually needed ourselves. So it kind of works out for the good. But these feet, I sell these for $3.99. Cheap. They're $29.99 brand new. So quick money. And basically, I got these for free. So, by the time I pay my eBay and PayPal fees, which I figure is 26% or 25% across the board, I'll probably make about two or three bucks. That pays my eBay and PayPal fees. So, then, that's how you want to list it on eBay. When you go to pack these, what I do is if it has a door, I always take a piece of bubble wrap and put it like this all down through here. I, I'm not doing this one. I've got to list this one. Put a piece all around here. Actually, sometimes you want to take chances these will come off. I think this one will come off. Yep, yeah, sure will. This will come off. So what I'll do is I'll wrap this with bubble wrap then I'll wrap this and what I'll do is I'll just nest it like this and then I'll bubble wrap all of this together and then I'll box it I make all of my boxes I make custom because we do not sell the same size of anything we never sell well very few items do we have a quantity of so I have to make all of my boxes and then make a box, and then around that box you just made, take two more layers of bubble wrap around that box, and then make, make another box around all that so they do not get crushed and shipping because we've handled a few of these before and just the slightest bend and they crack. So you gotta figure they're gonna be dropped, they're gonna, the box is gonna be dropped, it's gonna be thrown, it's gonna be kicked, it's gonna be pushed, it's gonna have other things set on it. You want to make sure that you've got it double wrapped and double boxed to prevent any breakage. And always use the priority mail. Not the flat rate boxes, not the any boxes. You can make your own box. You can still print it as priority mail in your drop down menu. And you can select package or large package. And then you're good to go. Sometimes it is cheaper to mail these by UPS. Um, I shipped one item one time by FedEx and got burnt. When I went in to do the FedEx rate, I wanted an inclusive rate. Those in the trucking industry know exactly what I'm talking about. They failed to give me an inclusive rate. We got a separate bill for 33 right at $34. Game over, FedEx. Not going to happen again. So, I either use the post office or UPS. Whichever is cheapest is usually what I will ship with. Okay, another thing. And I'm gonna give y'all some little goodies that sell good. These are the little, I know it's got these on them somewhere. These are the little things that hold the door frames. And you can't see it. There it is. The part number is actually inside of here. And what you have to do is get actually get a flashlight and look down in there. But it's down in the very bottom of this right here. Down in the very bottom. And then get your sticky note 
with tape and tape it on here. Then that way you'll know. Put your refrigerator model number and put this part number and then put the name of the part. Then that way when it sells, I do I do all of my refrigerator parts on bite now. I do not do bite now or best offer unless I've had it for six months. After that, buy now or best offer and get rid of it. Because technically, once you take out the parts out of a refrigerator and sell them individually, you're going to make a lot of money. At least two, three, maybe even more. Um, but that's what we have come to is parts are selling better than anything right now. These are the little hinges that the frame of the inside of the refrigerator door. These are the little things that hold the trim on to hold like the liquids and the stuff in the door with. Um, here's another one. Again, this is the first this first thing I look for is the part number, and it's got a part number on it. The camera will zoom in on it. And I wrote the part number down here. Then that way, when I keep all of mine in totes, I, I get large totes when they're on clearance. Um, or wherever auctions, we buy totes when we can buy them cheap. And we have our, I keep our totes numbered as to what's in them. So I automatically know in my mind that tote number 21 has these Samsung parts in it. I just have a memory. I can go to those totes just like that and get them out. It's memory for me. And this is also a shelf that goes in a door. It is, this is a little discolored. You can't tell in here. I, again, I'm moving my eBay little white and little yellow take a picture of this put it in the condition so the buyers can potential buyers can see it but when you put something in the description that's a negative like this like the color you want to add has a slight discoloration on the top on the front I'm sorry like a yellow you like a yellowish blemish um, these parts came from my neighbors, so they do not smoke, and they're not nasty people, so and that's why we have these. It, I believe it was just where it had set out, and the front so long against the other shelf. But just put it has a slight yellowish discoloration on, a, on the front, but it does not, there's nothing else wrong with it. It works as designed and intended. That's very important, I found with these refrigerator parts. Always pick out the flaw first but then in the condition but then put but this does work as design and intended um, I have a couple that has a crack on them I put that in description has a crack on the front front of like all right let's look at this one here we go prime example this one has a small crack on I don't know if you can see it or not right here okay on the inside, you can see it. Of course, it needs to be clean. But that small crack does not keep that from working as designed and intended. This is a tray that goes down in the bottom. These sell really, really good right too. These, the, the, the drawers that goes in the very bottom of refrigerators, these are the best selling things right here. The best selling things. I'm trying to keep my computer on. And just clean it good. There is scratches on the front of it. And what I do in the item description is put, I hold it at an angle like that with a light, but make sure there's no glare. And I say, has scra slight scratches and blemishes from use and a crack on the front. And then in parentheses, I put, but does not keep it from working as designed and intended. Other than that, works great, slides great. Nothing else wrong with it. Again, where's our part number at? Okay, here's a good one for y'all. Sometimes they put them in the most peculiar places. Okay. Since this does not have a part number on it, 
It has letters on the bottom. Okay. This is where looking up the refrigerator model with the schematics and the part numbers. We know this is the vegetable and fruit drawer is what this is. So what you'll do is you'll go in here and you'll look for the, for the vegetable and fruit drawer. See if I can, I want to try to look it up. And now y'all are saying, gosh, she takes too much time. But I've, I've had so many. Okay, these here. These here. These right here. Is this. And then what you do is like to have number 20, like 22 on this here. I believe that's the one it is right here. What you do is you scroll down here to the bottom. And it just says door shelf. And then that's what you do. These are $2105. I'll sell these for $6.99 plus shipping. Profit. $4 profit. If you take $4 profit times 10 of these... You got 40 bucks, and I'm minusing eBay and PayPal fees and the price that we, you know, we pay a dollar each for these just for the people saving their time. It's profit. You can't go wrong with something like this. And this stuff is hot sellers. Um, I know a lot of people like doing clothes, and I'm not trying to knock anybody for doing clothes. But this here is just such a good seller and such a good way to make money and a good way to recycle because these daggone things are expensive i mean look at the price of this 2105 and this down here it also has a part number here and what the part number here is different than the part number here so what i do is i'll go in and type it in ebay exactly the way it is here because this could be this business's own part number their self so i won't put that on my listing i only put what is on here i only put what's on here that's what people are going to look for so the vegetable and fruit drawer back at the ranch let's go look for it and also these door handles get this these door handles the day I had took some of the parts out of the refrigerator, it was hot that day. It was like 100 degrees outside. And I was out, th out in the sun parting this thing out and trying to write down the parts as I went. And when I opened the refrigerator, the door just went slam and it broke the handle. And I got to look in the whole entire handle assembly. You got the handle itself and then you got the two little, I don't know the names of them. I don't want to take the time to scroll down. But anyway, the handle assembly, the, t the two ends were that screws it on, and then the handle itself is $60. I was like, I should go hit my head on the tree or something right now. I couldn't believe I'd done that, but I, no big thing. But just to tell you, just this stuff here, and, and the little screws and stuff, like the little hinge things that holds the handles and stuff on, my gosh, they're $10, $15. So like I say, there's money to be made in this stuff. And and I always started either charging anywhere between 25 and 50% of what, as opposed to new is. Okay, I know you're all saying, shut your mouth, keep looking. Okay, so. Now see here it has the refrigerator shelves. And you can see your parts here. Um, this also has an option where you can enlarge it with your thing. So, this looks like it's going to be number... I'm going to pretend that this is number six because that's what it looks like. And they are out of stock. So, 
that's good for you. If you have this for sale and somebody's looking for this and they've got this out of stock, guess what? Cha-ching. You're going to get it to sale. They're 5708 new. And it'll tell you. So I do anywhere between 25 and 50%. This will go UPS because I can, I shipped one of these. Where was it? Utah or Wyoming, wasn't it? Um, and shipping was what? UPS was, was only like $12 and something, wasn't it? I think it was the cheapest. I'm trying to talk to my husband. He's in the living room. He tra he helps me remember this stuff too because we've had some some really weird shipping rates and they 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 kind of make you laugh sometimes. And that's a that's a whole other diff different vlog. That's that's got funny stuff too. So this will go UPS again. You're going to wrap it. On the corners, what I do is I, if I don't have any, I'm not going to look for it, but if you have any styrofoam, take your styrofoam and put piece, piece, and piece, and then tape it really good, and then tape, and then bubble wrap, because these corners can get dinged up. Um... Been a lot easier if I would have listed one and that way it wouldn't take us on. But I'm trying to be thorough for y'all because we've had so many people to ask us and, and I just want to try to be as thorough as possible. This will go UPS because it's so large. And this and um, Utah or Wyoming is where we sold one of these two. The shipping was like twelve twelve dollars or something, twelve ninety nine or something like that. It wasn't very much. Um and how much did we sell this for? We sell these for $19.99, right? We sold them for like $19.99. So we tried to keep our prices cheap and reasonable and affordable. Because like I say, if you're paying someone $1. Our business is, is turning things over fast. That's my husband talking. He said, our, our business is, is to turn things fast. Really fast. Fast, fast is what we want. But you got people that are wanting this stuff fast. So, you know, and, and to the kind of the way we look at it is we have fell on hard times ourselves and couldn't afford new things. So that's another reason why we try to keep our prices low. Um, I want to jump off the subject right quick. I see people constantly asking how much for this how much for this is it worth it is it worth it i don't know you don't know the bet what i do is when we go sourcing and that's gonna be a, a vlog for next week probably an hour long vlog to show and tell y'all where we get where we get our stuff at um as I'm standing there looking at the item, I'm looking it up on eBay to see one if it has sold and two for how much. And if I can make money. The way that I look at it is, for example, I'm going to set an example. If I sell 